Hi everyone, this is Sagar Shah and today I am here with a new chess board that I have received from DGT uh, and this is a very nice electronic chess board but you know I have had such chess boards before what is special about this so you know how everyone keeps on discussing whether when you are reading such books it's good to sort of play it on the board or is it okay to play on the computer what is better and i guess this board solves both these problems and i want to show you how to connect this chess board to chess base so that you can use it for your analysis let's have a look so let me first load chess base 17 and open a new board here so here's a new board that we have started and when you go to this tab here board tab then there is something known as a DGT board so I tick it and then there you have to make a DGT rabbit plugin and this plugin I'll be putting the link in the description so you can install it so now if you see the board is alive the rabbit plugin says the board is alive now uh, how is it alive let me show you here is a connector that goes to another connector. <laughs> okay, Amruta, please don't show your hand. <laughs> here, here is an another connector that goes in into here, into this, and then to the board. And there is one power point, power plug, which goes right into the power socket. So this is the setup you need. It will come with the board and you will organize this and you are ready to go. So. Let's say I'm looking at this book, which is positional decision making. I, I have many books, but okay, I'm interested to look at this one. And we are looking at the game between David Yanowski and Akiba Rubinstein. Let's play through the moves. E4. You can see the move being made here. E5. Knight F3. Knight C6. Bishop B5. It's the Rui Lopez. No. It's not Rui Lopez, actually Bishop B5 wasn't played. So I keep the move back and you will see it goes back. You can move one move back. If you move many moves back, like for example, if I do this, nothing will happen and suddenly the board will be in trouble. So you need to go move by move back. That is an important thing. I go Knight C3, it works. Knight F6, Bishop B5, Bishop B4, castles castles d3 bishop takes c3 b takes c3 and by the way the interface is very smooth and you will see by the way bishop b5 i had played and then i played knight c3 later so it's actually made it into a variation now of course i can go to my chess base and make this into the main line i can promote variation and this will become the main line here so b takes c3 is on the board and then uh, d6 was played bishop g5 queen e7 and here boris gelfand says this game was played at a time when opening theory looked nothing like it is today most of the games opened with one e4 e5 or d4 d5 these days it is quite common for black players to use dynamics as a way to counter the slight pressure white gets from the start a hundred years ago people tried to equalize by solving their problems early which is what rubinstein manages to do in the game and then he says yanovsky plays queen d2 this is rather a harmless move but you can understand why white played it the queen goes slightly on a better square and not much really is happening here rookie one is the main move so then you go here and you play rookie one and you will see the variation is created and this is the way in which you can go through many many complex lines and variations here uh, in order to and then you can go through the game you can just do control s and save it here you know the games in your database and so that is done so it's very good to analyze now there's another book which i enjoy a lot which is uh, tactical books and let's have a look at how that would work 
For example, let me arrange a position from this book. So this is how it could work. This is one of my favorite books, by the way, Chess Tactics from Scratch. So let's say I have this very interesting position. Now, when you are setting up a position, it's very important to follow <clears throat> some rules. So firstly, you put all the pieces that are there on the board uh, without the kings because that is an important feature. So I'll keep both the kings here and this one, let's say bishop is here. This is the position, by the way, which I'm setting rook g3, rook c7, rook a8, rook e8, bishop b5, bishop f2, pawn h2. And now you will see that apart from the kings, everything else is set up here. So I'll then go to a board here. I'll open a board. I'll go to board and I'll click on DGT. Again, the same thing which we did last time. So you see the DGT rabbit plugin is uh, enabled and you can just click here on you start stop setup this button. Okay. So now I will use the kings, the white king. Now it's if it is white to move, the white king should be placed last. So black to move king at six and you'll see the board is still on the starting position. But the moment I place the white king, the position comes here. So it's white to move now. And in fact, now I can try and think what's the move here. And uh, well, I can see that there are some mating ideas to this king. If my rook comes on h3 and oh, I found it. I think I found it. So rook takes g6, king takes g6, bishop f5 check. And now the king has two squares, but wherever it goes, this is a checkmate. And you will see that the moves have been saved. So now I can just save this position and it's saved. Wow. Now it feels like practice can a Maybe you become a GM. Yes. Actually, in a way, whatever you work on will now be saved with this. And you can also work on the board. And I think this is a very interesting way to work. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Vivek Sohani, international arbiter who helped me understand these wires, who helped me understand these plugins. And there is a lot more you can do with this board. Uh, you can play live games, which can be broadcast. I also think that you can connect it to Fritz and play against an engine with a clock, which is what I'm going to explore in subsequent videos. But for now, I already felt this is of immense value to play on this board and to connect it with Chessbase 17 and, you know, save all the analysis that is happening there. So if you would like to get this chess board, I'm going to put a link of all. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description and you can get the board from there. For now, this is Sagar Shah signing off. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you.